Hey everybody, this is Dennis. We're going to do uh, the unboxing of Last of the Seekers. I was very excited uh, when um, I found out a package had arrived. We had gone to see the Marvels movie to do the review on it. So this was very cool to be able to get home and take a look at it. So I did pop it open and... Uh, um, you know, we're gonna we'll look at the comic book. Um, you can see at the picture at the beginning. You know, it came fully boxed. We'll go through some of the stuff. I just want you guys to be able to uh, to take a look at it. Um, but uh, the comic book, Riot uh, Press is putting it out. Of course, most all of you know this is Patrick Thomas Parnell's baby, and I think it was probably a little about a year ago I had backed this when he he put it out. Um, we're just going to look through it, but, you know, even on the comic side, uh, Matt Barr, Kelsey Shannon, Michael Rushbook, um, yeah, guys, very excited for this. I'm a huge Transformers fan. Um, the book is very good quality. Uh, I think PTP really did a nice job of, uh, of bringing this together. Let's just put everything here in the middle so we can show you guys. I'm not going to show you the whole book because, you know, hopefully you guys picked up your copy. But you do got to take a look at some of it. This is very Transformers-esque. Um, I really can't wait to read it. I said this This was just really on the top, one of the tops of my list. You know, I decided to go through and get, uh, I couldn't afford them all, but I at least wanted one of the toys. I am very glad I did. Um... This looks cool, and I'll just kind of stop right here. This is an awesome uh, middle shot. This looks just cool. I can't wait. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers, but I think it looks great on the outset. And then, of course, there's a cool ad talking about Johnny Phantasm uh, in the back. Um, so the comic book, can't wait to read it. That looks awesome. When we opened it up, it's got the stickers, which I haven't applied. It comes with a poker chip, and that is a solid poker chip. That was uh, really cool. Um, we've got some of the accessories right here, the, the guns and the sword. Um, I'm going to show you the back before we start digging into it. The back of the box is cool. You can see Max and Shadow Drone, which is the one I got, Renegade and Surge. And uh, so you could see the uh, the different versions. Um, for me, Shadow Drone was just the, I just love the color scheme and everything that's uh, on it. Um, you can see on the side, it's uh, number two. Um, but it even kind of has that uh, Transformers retro feel and everything that's on it. Like I said, it's cool. But we're going to move that to the side so we can take a look. I just put a couple of uh, the weapons on. I haven't even um, started transforming it yet. I will. There's a there's a cool sheet because I don't want to do anything to it until I, I know what I'm doing. But I really want you guys to be able to at least take a look at this. Um, the joints seem really decent. Um, you can feel uh, the joints move very well. The guns fit in. It's got a nice tight uh, grasp that's on it. This one comes with uh, like an energy sword. I'll probably know the name of it after I actually read the book. Um, but the it's very mobile. It's got really good uh, movement on the uh, on the joints. Can lock into place there. Uh, let's take a look at the top. You can see. The missile launchers, so the missiles come down. I don't want to, they, they push in, I can hear springs. Like I said, I'm going to go through it all. Um, I see a launching mechanism, it looks like that's uh, down below. I only see one on one side. I'll, I'll learn more as I go through, uh, like I said, the directions. But this is just really going to be kind of a first look. Um, it's on the back. Yeah, you guys can just see all the different angles. There is a lot to this. There's a like a lot of pieces. We're just going to shoot the let the things fall out so you can take a look at the uh, the bottom of it. 
I'm sure other people have done uh, similar type videos, but I at least wanted you guys to be able to see what this looks like. I know there's going to be some cool decals that I'm going to have to put on that will probably really accentuate it. Uh, but all in all, guys, I think this looks really cool to uh, um, coming right out of the box. Um, yeah, not to, it's not all taped together, but it's locked into place by uh, the compressing plastic that was on there, which is cool. There's a lot of little pieces you can see down in here that are going to wind up opening and uh, being able to be moved. The different wings will rotate. You can see the there's just a, a lot of things uh, to do it. So it will transform um, into the uh, the spaceship. What I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, I'm going to rest it against the box. I'm going to show you guys the uh, the sheet. It's a big sheet that unfolds that comes folded up in there. And you can see it takes you through all the steps just like the transformers do. How you wind up transforming it so that you can properly get it into its uh, uh, final form. Um, and that's what it'll look like when it's uh, all done. I'm debating if I just want to leave it in my robot form or the spaceship. I might do transform it into the uh, spaceship form. But anyway, it comes with a lot of little directions. There's a lot of pieces. This is not meant as like a Fisher Price. Um, I says it looks cool. It really does. Um, somebody who's put this much time and effort into it... Um, you know, on, on my first call, I'm going to say PTP, I think you did a pretty cool job. This looks really great. Um, if story's half as good, I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So you guys can always leave your uh, comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, did you guys get them? Did you get all of them? Or which one was your favorite? Um, smash that like and subscribe button. Share this out to your, uh, to your friends. And... Uh, you know, I'll be curious to see. Uh, I know he did really well in the uh, in the campaign, and I hope this is something that continues because I think it's a a really good uh, first first set of robots out the door. And I know they're different color schemes and stuff, so I'll be curious to see what he does in the future. And uh, looking forward to reading the book. Hopefully. Uh, it's the first of many. I will enjoy it. So like I said, guys, leave your comments down below and I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Thanks.